and share a few favourites from May with you. I'll just jump right in with the first one, which is by a company called Monu. And I've spoken about them before, and today I actually have on two products from Monu, this being one of them, the other one being their Illuminating Primer, which I love. And this is kind of a primer, but it's also kind of a, a tinted moisturiser in one. It's a great little product. This is their first Defence Perfecting Tint with SPF 15. And um, I was at the medium one, and actually I looked at it and I thought, because this is the actual product, I thought it would be way too dark. But it's not. Interestingly enough, I have it on today and I've mixed it with a Senna foundation. Interestingly enough, it's actually um, kind of pink based, which is perfect for me. Because a lot of these things, see it does look quite dark, a lot of these things are kind of bronzy based. And they definitely do look way too dark on my skin. But, because this is kind of pink based, it mixes really well with my foundations. Now you can wear it on its own if you're looking for something that's really, really minimal coverage but gives a nice glow. But I've been mixing, as I said, my foundations, in particular the more yellow toned ones, which the Senna one that I have tends to be. And it really kind of, it doesn't really so much alter the shade, but it really kind of peps it up a bit. It's lovely. It does have a really nice kind of silky primer feeling to it, but not like a silicone primer. And this is um, interesting because it's for all skin types. It's kind of more skincare because Monu really are more skincare based than they are makeup based. So it has soft focus technology, vitamin E and cassia alata extract in it. And it's very, very good for you by all accounts. Um, I've read a few of the reviews for this and everybody raves about it. I've been wearing it for a week, mixing it with my foundation. I've worn it on its own as well. And it's really lovely. It's monushop.co.uk. They don't animal test or anything like that. This is quite pricey. I believe it's about £29. But I think if you're looking for something, if you're not someone that's a big foundation wearer, I think this would be really nice for you, and especially with the summer coming up. Maybe this would be a great idea for something to take on holiday with you because it gives a, a tiny little bit of coverage, but really the point of it is that it kind of makes your skin look a bit glowy. So I think that'd be perfect if you got, want to go to the beach or something and you don't want to wear foundation. This stuff is lovely. So that's the perfecting tint. Another makeup item, uh, this is a lip product from Rouge Bunny Rouge and I have their whole new Succulents of Dew lipstick line that I um, still have to do a video on because they're amazing, I just haven't got around to it yet. But this is their um, Devilish Nectar Lip Potion and I just featured this in my recent tutorial. It is stunning. This is so pretty, it's so tiddly but it's absolutely gorgeous. And this is a lip plumper. And what I've been doing with this, because I don't want to get it dirty, I've been using it with a lip brush. So I put my lipstick on and then I get a lip brush and I pop some of this over the top. This stuff, it looks kind of innocuous. It doesn't really look particularly interesting, but when you put this on over um, a lipstick or just on its own, oh my God, it's amazing. It's really super tingly. So if you don't like things like that, maybe not for you, but I love this. It's tiny but mighty and the crystals, the kind of different colour crystals in it are beautiful. There's silver, there's red, there's gold. It is absolutely gorgeous. When it hits the light it looks beautiful and I've used this over many different coloured lipsticks and every single time it's come out looking stunning and it really does have a really nice high gloss, high pumping, plumping effect. It's not like one of those plumpers that kind of tingles and then doesn't do anything. This really does pack a great big punch in terms of plumping. So I like that. If you're looking for kind of a high-end lip plumper this is definitely one I would recommend. I um, mean, I'll link everything down below, but I love this. And considering how tiddly it is, I've used it a lot, and I don't think I've used that much of it. So if you want to try something a little bit different, that's a little bit more high-end in the lip plumping stakes, then I think the one from Rouge Bunny Rouge is gorgeous, and I love their packaging. I love their entire website. Go and have a look just anyway if you haven't, because their website is stunning. So I like that. That's been a definite favourite. One lipstick I've rediscovered because I've been kind of intentionally trying to wade my way through my lip products because I have a huge amount of new lip products recently and then it's kind of got me being a little bit nostalgic about my old lip products, old, you know, lip products that I've used a couple of times and then I've got new ones so I've forgotten about them. This is one of them, this is by Glow and Ray and this is one of their Teo Mo lipsticks, I believe this one is, yeah, this is in Cupid. 
Oh, this is so pretty. I think I've worn this once, look at it, bang, <laughs> when I uh, swatched it for the video, and I don't think I've worn it since. Terrible, isn't it? So I got it out the other day, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to try and use my lipsticks, because they're just sitting there going off. It's awful. They're calling to me every time I walk past them. So instead of, like, putting on new ones just because they're new, I thought I'd try to give some love to my kind of regular lipstick stash. This is so pretty. I posted a picture of this on my Instagram. And it is the most beautiful neon Barbie pink. It's gorgeous, but funnily enough, when it's on, it doesn't look really stupid and neon. <laughs> it looks really, really nice on. Gorgeous. I love these lipsticks. Another one of those that I like, which I also just post on my Instagram, is called Falling. And that is a beautiful red coral. But this, oh my god, look at it. So that's by Glow and Ray. If you haven't tried their lipsticks, you seriously need to go and try them because they are some of the best I've ever come across. And this shade is just, look at that. Isn't it stunning? Kind of better on my hand than it is in the tube. That's more of an accurate representation of it. So that is Cupid by Glow Ray. One makeup palette. Now I won't dedicate too much time to this because I have already featured it in a tutorial and I featured it in its own video, which I'll link down below. This is the Zoe the Cocoa Blend palette. Um, oh my god, I love this. I absolutely love this. It's beautiful. I've been wearing it non-stop since it arrived. It is the most stunning palette. My favourite shades are these two matte shades here. So you get like a really nice warm kind of orangey matte, and then you get a red orangey matte, and they're just, oh, they're beautiful together. Uh, the tutorial I just did was this kind of fuchsia, or fuchsia, kind of a purpley red, and I put some of this kind of gold in the middle of it with my finger. It's just so pretty. There are so many things you can do with this Cocoa Blend palette. I believe it's out on the 2nd of June, so um, definitely check the Zoeva website, that's always linked down below um, in the description box, check there. This is, I mean they're so cheap as well, they're unbelievably inexpensive for the quality, so if you're interested in a new kind of summer palette, because I think this definitely is, then check that out, it's the Cocoa Blend. Um, I love all their palettes, absolutely love them all, but this one is a definite contender for my absolute favourite, I think, of the ones I've tried. On to my fragrance. Now this is very interesting because I'm not a body spray person, I'm a perfume girl. And I just think, you know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna put something on and you, and you want it to last the day, it may as well have more staying power than a body mist. So I've never been a body mist kind of person until I came across this. And this is by Crabtree and Evelyn, and this is their Citroen Honey and Coriander Refreshing Body Mist. This is 100ml. This is £15. Now the first time I checked, these are an online exclusive. I don't know whether they will be permanently, but they are, I believe at the moment, an online exclusive. And there are three different um, scents. There's this one, there's a rose water, and there's a pomegranate. I picked this one because I have the hand cream on, of um, this particular scent, and I have a body lotion, and I think I used up the shower gel. I think that went like <laughs> nobody's business, that went immediately. But I picked this one because I knew that I loved the scent, and it says formulated without colour, phthalates, mineral oil, and propyl glycol. Fresh and invigorating citrus notes are combined with green herbaceous and coniferous to overtones plus peppery coriander in this refreshing scent. Mist all over the body to freshen and fragrance the skin. Now the thing about this is it's not just a body mist because I thought, I first used this and I thought it was going to fade in like half an hour and I'm going to have to put on a perfume. But I've actually been using this in place of my perfumes which is pretty amazing for me. It's the most, I don't have any perfume on today so I'm going to put some on. It is the most amazing scent. It's, oh, it's amazing, and it doesn't fade. That's the thing. If you go out all day, you don't suddenly think, oh, I don't have any perfume on, damn. You don't have to take it with you either, although you can because this is plastic and it's only tiddly. But you don't have to take it with you. A couple of squirts in the morning and you can still smell it at the end of the day. It's amazing stuff. So if you're looking for a new kind of summer thing, like a summer fragrance, I've used quite a lot of it. Whoops. Uh, but that's what you're supposed to do with them, right? You're not supposed to keep them. So if you're looking for a new summer fragrance, I recommend this one if you like citrusy, kind of vibrant things. If you like more floral, then the rose water would probably be for you, but I think everyone would like this. It's, it's a crowd pleaser. And I also think it's, it's unisex. It's not just a feminine fragrance at all. So that is one of the new refreshing body mists from Crabtree and Evelyn. I'll link that down below. Oh, it's amazing. On to a couple of bath and body things. This, <laughs> this is so funny. I was so excited when I came across this in Boots, it's very, very sad. And uh, this is the Carex Complete Fun Edition um, hand wash. And as you can see, it's nearly gone. Um, and this is the Cola Bottle scent. Now, I didn't know they did things like this. Apparently, I'm totally behind because when I posted about it on Instagram, everyone was like, oh yeah, they do this, this scent and this scent as well. And I'm like, really? 
behind on a trend. But nevertheless, I love this. Where have it, has it been all my life? It actually smells like fizzy cutler sweets. I don't know how they do it. And there's a strawberry laces one, and I think there's a bubblegum one, and something else. They're just oh yeah chocolate orange but I can't find that one for love nor money so yeah there's a chocolate orange one as well now this is formulated and marketed more importantly towards children to get children to wash their hands more often <laughs> so the fact that I'm very excited by it might say something about me I don't know but um <laughs> I was very excited when I came across this in boots I'm sure oh god I'm sure people wonder what the hell was going on in the hand wash aisle, but I was very excited and it was only a pound. I believe it's about 189 full price. I got it on offer. Um, but I would pay full price for it because it's amazing. And the scent lasts, it's kind of like you've used a cola scented hand cream, it's amazing. It's not one of those artificial scents either, in, in terms of being overly sugary. It's lovely. I really like it, so I was very, very excited to come across that. Sad, but true. So that's the Carex Cola bottles hand wash after Dove. It's very exciting, I think. And then one last product from my main favourites, and I will leave you. This is a new discovery of mine. I'm sure it's been about for, it has been about for ages, but I don't know. I was just having brows, probably during my very exciting, you know, cola bottle hand wash discovery. And I came across the Radox Stress Relief. And this is a calming blend with rosemary and eucalyptus. I did, I've tried the, oh, what's it called? Imperial Leather Paradise Island. Um, bath cream as well but I've only got that that much left so I don't want to show you that. Um, I've I tried that recently and that's lovely that's kind of vanilla and apricot and things like that. So I wanted something different so I went for something that's kind of more masculine I suppose traditionally masculine. Um, I wanted something that was a little bit more invigorating rather than sweet. Oh, this stuff is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Just and these are on offer in boots at the moment, they're only a pound. So it's 500 mil. So I will go back and I'll get the rest, I think. <laughs> I will get the rest of the range. Um, I'll get a couple of them because I love these and they last a hell of a long time. And they're just, they're lovely. They're really, really nice. And also, if you're not a bath person, because I know these are bath soaks, that's what they're, you know, marketed as. If you're not a bath person, do remember you can use these in the shower. You know, you don't just have to use them the way that they tell you to use them. Um, so I'm not really a big bath person, so I just use them in the shower. And I think they're great. And they, they're better bang for your buck, I feel, than shower gels, because shower gels you don't tend to get in a 500ml bottle. So just a little tip. So the Radox Stress Relief, lovely. I don't know whether it does relieve stress. I don't know. I haven't seen a marked difference, but you know, hey, anything that will help. So. That's my last favourite. I'll link everything, as I've said numerous times, down below. And if you want to share your favourites with me, I don't know whether you can like share. There used to be a video response thing for YouTube, and they changed it and they took it away. I don't know why. But anyway, so yes, enough blabbing. So if you want to share your favourites, either leave me a list of your favourites or leave me a link to the video that you've done. I'll go and watch that. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I hope you're all doing really, really well, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, everyone.